In this lesson, we are going to focus on our perceptions of shadow and shade. This is the fourth basic skill of drawing. Place a chair in the corner of a room like the lesson beforehand. Set up your viewfinder in a comfortable position. That is, that the chair is taking up nearly all your view in the viewfinder and that the viewfinder is perpendicular to your line of sight. Place a sheet of red acetate across the viewfinder. This red sheet of acetate will help illuminate to you the shadows, the shade, the bright edges, the dark edges. Begin your drawing like you did the drawing before. If you wish, you can use the angle finder and the proportion finder. Before you begin this drawing, you must also remember to apply the tone to the background of the sheet. If you wish to see how this is done again, have a look at the previous tutorial in the section of the perception of relationships. Work through your drawing as you did the last time line by line, section by section, angle by angle and proportion by proportion. When you are happy with the lines you have drawn in, you can begin inserting shadow and shade. Look through the viewfinder and see which, ed which edges are illuminated and which edges are dark. Through this view it is very obvious to us that the which sides of the chair are dark and which are bright. This red acetate on the viewfinder is merely a support for us while we are learning to draw. This exercise will increase your perception of shadow and shade. As you get practice and become better at drawing and sketching, you will be able to notice these shadows and shade without this rad acetate. Contri continue through your drawing, constantly looking back through the viewfinder, seeing which edges are illuminated and which ones are dark. I would recommend a 2B and a 5 or 6B pencil for this exercise. As you have a number of drawings done using this method, your skills will develop and get better. Use your skills from the previous lessons to do this drawing. The perception of lines and edges, the perception of negative spaces, and the perception of relationships, angles, proportions.
When you are happy with your drawing of the chair, you can then concentrate on drawing in the shadows and shade in the background. Through the red acetate sheet, I can see clearly where these shadows and shades are on the wall. When drawing in shadows and shades, it is very important not to give them a defined edge. As these shadows and shade are merely just reflections of the light and deflections of the light. Here I am drawing in the shade on the ground where the light is blocked by the legs of the chair. This shadow makes a shape on the ground. Through practice and through looking through the red acetate on the viewfinder, it can become obvious to us where these shadows are. Don't forget the shadow that is also projected onto the wall. In this drawing I have left out the radiator on the wall to emit confusion. Drawing in a rough shape of the shadow first of all Shading it in and smudging this shade with your finger is often an effective way of inserting shadow into a drawing. This drawing should take you about an hour, maybe more. Take your time and enjoy this exercise. You have made great progress into developing your skills of sketching and drawing.